Good morning. It's Friday, October 27th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When God Plants a Vineyard, and our scripture is from Isaiah's Prophecy, chapter 42. I will lead blind Israel down a new path, guiding them along an unfamiliar way. I will brighten the darkness before them and smooth out the road ahead of them. Yes, I will indeed do these things. I will not forsake them. In 1981, Elizabeth and I stood in a chapel service at seminary along with 1,200 other students and faculty. The preacher had extended a call to follow Christ in mission without reserve, no matter where it was that God wanted us to go and despite whatever conditions we would encounter. Even the song we sang was, Wherever He Leads, I'll Go. We responded to that call, promising to do just that. Now, it's great to have a mountaintop experience when you're headed for the valley. It helps you to remember and hold on to what and who your focus should be. At that time, our vision of serving Christ as a pastoral family was kind of a Norman Rockwell painting, a snapshot frozen in time with pastor, wife, and three kids. Thirty years later, we were supposed to still be in the same location, having developed loving relationships with the same people in the same town. Those plans were my plans. In our naivety, however, we never imagined that the plans and pathway of ministry could change so dramatically and so often. Fast forward 42 years, 11 churches, 9 grandchildren, and 4 great-grandchildren, Elizabeth and I are just a few months now into full retirement, having completed another first and only year with the new church family. For the last four decades, we've lived finding out how life turns on a dime. There have been moments when we felt like the tree in the picture, uprooted, laid down to rot. But in those times, as we waited for God to make sense for us out of challenging and changing circumstances, new growth was always the result. The Lord has led us into different and unexpected places, but His Word has never varied. His promises always faithfully true, and we've been blessed more than if our plans had been followed to the letter. Truth be told, I'm glad God used His plans instead of mine. I planned to continue writing this devotional in retirement until God offered a new path on which to grow and serve. I believe that time is here, and it is time for that new path. So to be obedient to our original promise to follow wherever He leads, for us, future ministry will be focused in two ways. Number one, of course, a priority, helping in the local church where Elizabeth and I worship. And secondly, taking the lessons I've learned, and sometimes just survived as they unfolded, and forming these lessons into some pages that will hopefully be an encouragement for pastors who are just starting out, or pastors who are looking to refocus for the next season. In Isaiah's words, I feel like blind Israel, with God taking me by the hand to show me a new pathway. But that is the exciting nature of being a follower of Jesus Christ in a changing universe. Like the tree in the picture, it looks like it's over, done, totally finished. But God specializes in bringing new life where death thought it was going to be in charge. Listen, when God plants a vineyard, there's going to be fruit. For you today, if you're new to Rocky Road or if you've been there since May 7th, 2013 when it started, thank you for your interest, thank you for your prayers, and thank you for encouraging me all along the way. May God bless you to be a fruitful blessing to others is our prayer. You chew on that as you hit the Rocky Road. Have a blessed day.